Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted a book with a secret compartment where I could store a valuable or interesting item. Maybe it's my love for things hidden in plain sight or items that aren't what they seem. But I decided it was finally time to figure out how they're made. So I started... Where did I... I started with a simple rectangle, but then explored more creative ideas to see what kinds of interesting compartments I could come up with. Here's what I did. Now to make one of these, first you'll need a book. So I personally recommend old textbooks or books you're holding on to but will never read again to give them a second life and make sure it's not some one of a kind book. So to prep the book, we first need to decide how much of this area we want to use for our compartment and the rest we want to cover in plastic wrap using a bit of tape to make sure we don't get glue on it. Just like that. Now in terms of glue, I looked at so many online tutorials to try to make this work and I'm pretty sure every single one recommended some form of craft glue or what's that stuff Mod Podge? Some of them suggested adding water or using them as is, but ultimately none of them really worked for me. First, it was just really messy. It got everywhere and even with the plastic wrap, I was way more careful than this and it got under the plastic wrap, under the tape, and it just ruined the entire look of the book. And second, it ended up making the book really damp, so I ended up with a lot of waviness in the book, which I didn't really want. So I ended up going with wood glue, which kind of makes sense, you know? Paper, wood, you know? But it seems to work great, and that's what I've been using for almost all of my books. So let's glue the outside edges. Okay, the glue has finally dried, and I also kept the whole thing under a weight during that process. After removing all the plastic wrap, you can either trace an item that you want to put in the book, or you can sketch out the area that you want to carve out. Now, you'll want to use something really sharp for this. I don't think this is going to cut it. I used a combination of different tools for this, but the best one for you is probably dependent on the type of shape and depth that you're trying to cut out. And now it just takes a lot of cutting. And voila, it's a book light. Get it? Oh. Once that's done, you can check for a final fit if you're adding something specific and make some last minute adjustments as needed. Now I had a ton of fun making these, although they do take quite a bit of work to carve out since it ends up being a little like carving wood. But you can do some really interesting things, and I'm sure I just barely scratched the surface with the types of creations you can make. One of my favorites was this Inception one. I was able to find a larger textbook that fit two other books inside, so I did three levels of book compartments, leading to a bookstore gift card. But that completes my bucket list item for hidden compartments in books. Make sure to subscribe to find out what I do next, and I should uh, probably book it. <laughs> uh.
Oh, and thank you so much to everyone who's been watching. You're the best. Storm.